Sekera takes the shot. Elliott got a piece of it. McDavid scores! Connor McDavid on a penalty shot. It was a storybook ending on one of the biggest nights in franchise history. The Oilers score on their first two shots at Rogers Place, gave up a two-goal lead in the second period, only to have their new captain take the bull by the horns and score two goals of his own en route to a 7-4 win over the Calgary Flames. Obviously, the anticipation for this game was huge, and, and you know the fans were excited. You know, all the greats were in the building. Um, you know, it was an exciting night for for our whole organization, and, and um, it was a good good uh, good way to start it. Um, you know, kind of happy it's over. You know, I'll definitely take a lot of good memories from tonight, and um, and move on with those. Well, we won, so it's a great thing. The energy in the building was unreal, and uh, we got the job done. You know, we got the big two points for us for as a group, and uh, we move on. Uh, we know what we have to correct, but uh, at the end of the day, we won the game, so it's good. We wanted to come in and have a good game, have you know, earn that two points. I thought we did that. Obviously, there's things we can clean up, but uh, I thought we were a resilient group. Uh, you know, things could have gone different when we gave up those two short hands, but we kept coming and got some goals, and you know, it's a it's a good sign. In the win, Chris Russell was the only other Oiler outside of McDavid to register a multi-point game, picking up a pair of assists in his debut. Now, Jesse Pugliarvi did not wait long to register his first National Hockey League goal, getting it out of the way nine minutes into the third period. On the injury front, Brandon Davidson did not finish this game. No word yet on the extent of the injury or any other details. The Oilers and Flames do this all over again Friday night at the Saddle Dome. Tom Gazzola, Oilers TV.